Hi everybody, I'm Mattia. Welcome to my house. Today I will show you how to do the uh, risotto alla parmigiana. First of all, we need like, of course, parmigiano reggiano, 24 months age. I don't like to use like one more age than 24 months because it's too dry for my taste. And then we are going to use like everything that we normally use for a uh, broth. So we start first with the 150 grams of carrot. We just chop it. I always start from uh, cold water. So what we do with the, with the onion, I usually roast it a little bit. Okay. So just cut it off and then I make it, uh, I will make it like a little bit dark from one side. So take a bit of taste of toast, of roast. What I didn't tell you is uh, that I always usually keep all the skin from the onion and the, from the shallot, for example, that I will use it for the, the soury butter, burro acido. So I always keep it for the broth. I don't used to waste nothing as they teach me in every, as they teach to me like in every kitchen until today. A lot of people like to use the risotto just with the salt and water, especially when we're talking about risotto parmigiana. Why? Because you preserve the taste of parmigiano. And uh, usually is what I usually do. But today, because I was really miss like my country, my family, and we usually always have broth. There is always someone from the family that used to do like a, a broth. And the, so, because I want to remind it that I did the broth today. So just because I will. So we add in the meantime all the vegetables. And once that we add the beef, we have to remember to low the fire a little bit to make sure that it doesn't like boil too strong. Otherwise we just like that the broth gets very dark. So we just let them take a bit of color here, a little bit more. And in the meantime, what we do is uh, we chop 150 grams of shallot. Why? Because I'm doing a different prep for the risotto that we will use at the end once that the rice is cooked. So we chop a little bit the shell, almost like 150 grams. We're going to put everything in a pot. And uh, we cook with a, a, a gentle, a fire very gentle. We will cook the shell for almost five to 10 minutes. We add 30 grams of, of butter and we just make it melt and we cook the shallot. So I usually cook some, uh, as I said, some shallot and then I'm gonna pour some uh, white wine. Here I'm using some Chardonnay from California because there are a lot of, like, lot of uh, winery. Once that our ghost start to boil, we start to take off all the impurity, as you can see. And uh, as I said, if your like doesn't make it boil too strong, you can see that it's transparent. So that's what we want. Shiny and nice. So our risotto, we keep a very nice color. And um, here we have our shell that is almost ready. So what we do is like, we keep the juice and we strain everything. 
in here. You can just prepare once that you are house in your house. You can do it like as, as you prefer. So you just can put some parmesan and butter and start the risotto with some shallot or onion chopped. What I do usually, I use this one. I just make it boil with wine, so I don't have the shallot in the risotto when we are going to eat that. And then, little by little, we add the butter. That is a uh, room temperature, so it's soft as you can see. Once that, as you can see, start to incorporate all the liquid. This is our seasoned butter. We are going to cool it down in the fridge and then we will use it in the end once that we have the risotto. In the meantime, what we can do is start to grate some parmesan because we will use it later. After three hours, we are almost ready with, uh, with, uh, our, with our stock. So what we do, we just like put the strainer inside and uh, we are going to start the result. First, we use almost around 80 grams of rice for person. That's what I usually do. For me, it's never enough. So I usually cook like 100 grams, 120 just for me. But it's up to you. So we have a touch of salt inside. I usually toast the rice without oil and butter. And then why we do this is because probably get the rice get, uh, it's got some humidity during the, the trip and uh, in the bag uh, when it's conserved. So what we are doing here, we are dehydrated one more time the rice. So we make sure that once that in the meantime that you are cooking doesn't absorb too much water. Okay, you can understand when it's ready because it changed the the sound and uh, you can't keep it in your hands. So it's a uh, hot enough, but doesn't have to change the color. So you have to keep the white color. So what we do is start to cook the, the risotto. The risotto is a... Um, it means that like you cook the rice very slow, so you can say risottare. And what exactly we are doing here is like put little by little some water, just step by step, not too much. You just cover the rice and you let it cook. You just always make sure that it, it keeps boiling. So I have to go, the, the fire has to be like low fire and always make sure that it is boiling. For 15 minutes. And the clean always the border. So you should like, you have the same done as for all the rice. We have to add the broth little by little because the rice, if we add too much broth, overcooks. How you can see if it's cook our rice is a, in a different way. What I use usually is, um, first you can see it, it's almost three times the volume or like you just get one beans, you press between your finger and you can see that I, there is just a touch that is still raw inside and the rest is cooked. For me like this is perfect, it's al dente, that's what I want. And now what I do, I just leave it rest for one minute before to add the parmesan and butter, so I'm sure that will not split the the ingredients. After one minute, 
what we do is uh, we start to add the butter that is still soft because it is wet. So we can add like two spoons of this. You can start to see the cream. The smell is amazing. So what we want is like we say alonda. So we add a touch of a touch of roux. Then some uh, parmigiano. The parmigiano we put at the end because we want to make sure that like make cream and doesn't split as I said the same reason of before. What I like at this point is always to add a touch of oil because I love the taste of oil. So now that we have a very nice cream. Just taste it, let me see if it's okay, the, the flavor. <laughs> Why two? Because you are into people in your plate. <laughs> okay. That's it. I always finish it with a touch of oil. And voila, buon appetito. So I enjoyed that you, I hope that you enjoyed the video. And then, uh, as I always say, during this period, stay safe, stay home and cook, cook at home. Ciao, enjoy!